Hey everybody, Mike Rondo, long time no see. It's been a little while, over about a week or so, uh, since I've done a video. I had planned on doing this video and a few other re tobacco reviews, but uh, got a bit crazy at work, and I was worn out when I got home, so I just kind of relaxed. Um, if I get a little distracted, it's because I'm watching NFL Red Zone. So, you know, that's how that goes. I'm just casually watching. But anyway, today we're going to do, as you can tell by the thumbnail, we're going to do... Uh, Jolly Old St. Nick, which is a tobacco I got back in, I want to say August, maybe September. And I remember I complained <laughs> about the pipe. That was my big complaint that he has a regular, you know, billiard pipe and not a church warden, which I think is proper for Santa Claus or St. Nick, uh, if you will. Uh, and not this, uh, you know, billiard pipe, especially because you get that beard, you can catch fire. It's not good. The church warden is the proper pipe for Santa. But anyway, let's get into this. Let's smoke this. this. So this is a blend that they've done before. I've never had it. Oops, so we'll see. There we go, see how this goes. Mm. Interesting. Uh, huh. I'm not even nose into the tin and I can smell. Hmm. I don't know what I would... I wouldn't say this is uh I wouldn't say cinnamon or spicy, but... Very Cavendish. Um, I don't smell anything else. Maybe a hint of citrus. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's get to the, uh, let's smoke it. Let's see what we get here. Let's see if I like it or not. I think I'll like it. I don't think I'll uh, not like it. Okay, it's got like an orange peel kind of thing going for it. Hmm, not bad. Um, you can take a look at the what it looks like. Uh, not bad. I don't think you need to dry this out. Now, full disclosure, this has been in the shed since I got it, whatever the hell that was. Um, but it seems moisture seems to be fine. It was sealed up, as you saw. So it shouldn't be a problem. Let's load this up. In one of my favorite pipes, my uh, church warden here. And I, you know what? I don't know if this is a... I think it's the Savinelli, if I had to remember it. I can't remember now. It's been a while since I've used this pipe. I mean, I, I smoked in it recently. I think last weekend, but... I can't... Yeah, it's the Savinelli. I'm pretty sure. All right, let's load this up. That should be pretty good. Not a big uh, bowl here. Let's not knock that over and catch fire with the... Uh, with the, uh, the old uh, heater here. That wouldn't have been good. Ah. Of course, that's the drawback of not having a filtered uh, pipe is you get the uh, little pieces of tobacco every now and then. Ugh. All right, let's... let's Light this again. Hmm. Hmm. Now, you might have to excuse my neighbors. They're blaring their stereo. I don't know what they're doing, but I guess maybe they're having a party or something. Uh, well, they're playing records like me, maybe, like I do in the shed now. Uh, more on that at some point. Uh, I'm off next week and the following week, so maybe I'll do a little more uh, talking about the stereo I put in here, uh, the turntable. And the heat, as someone said jokingly in my comments 
Last week, it's a remote start for the shit of solitude. And yeah, come to think of it, yeah. Now, I'll get into it another day, but you may hear that working over here. I have it kind of facing me uh, to get a little more heat. Uh, we're at 58 right now. We'll probably get up to 65, uh, 68 uh, a little later. As time marches on here in the shed this Sunday when I'm uh, reading and watching the games. i got to do some reading. My Dolphins aren't on until about 4 o'clock, 4.15, uh, which they'll have a tough game against San Francisco. I don't expect them to win, but they could eke one out, I hope. Um, San, Francisco's got a, San Francisco's got a good defense, and the Dolphins have a hell of an offense. My, my team can't tackle the shit to save anybody. I don't know why. They, just, they don't know how to wrap their arms around people. But to be fair to them, there's a guy going... That weighs about 200 pounds. That goes about 100 miles an hour. It's kind of hard to tackle someone. Mm. I would say... It's got like an orange peel kind of note, not strong, just a very subtle um, note. It was a bit of a, a bit of a spice. I don't know what kind of spice, but let's see. Let's go to tobacco reviews. Let's see what we get. If my phone would cooperate here. All right, so. So we got uh, Finest Gold in Virginia's. I don't really get any of that. Mellow Black Cavendish. I think that's the first time I've heard Mellow Black Cavendish with all the Cavendish blends that I've smoked. Uh, and a whisper of genuine St. James Perique, which I have heard plenty of times. I think my last blend that I did, ooh, I got a piece of tobacco in the back there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that wasn't good. All right, so notes of orange liqueur, hints of ginger. I don't get any of that. Smoothness, uh. Uh, the only soothing flavors and nostalgic aromas. Mm. So let's see. We got Black Cavendish, Perique, Virginia. Uh, alcohol liqueur, ginger, and orange. Ah, uh, three point one is the rating here. I don't know what I would call I mean it's not as strong as I thought it was going to be like uh, the flavors and the uh, aroma which I think is a good thing with all the Christmas blends they tend to be in my last few years of experience here they tend to be pretty strong you know like Christmas cookie is probably my favorite or at least it's been my favorite uh, from Boswell, that's pretty darn strong. Um, um, I'm not sure what I'd... This one's a little hard to place for the notes for me. Because it's not, it's got that citrusy note, obviously, like that orange peel kind of smell note, but not strong. It's got like a It's like the Cavendish. I can get that, but it gives it a different note. I can't place that. But I have to say, because it's such a mild 
aroma. And it doesn't seem to be that much. It's like this. I don't want to call it. Well, they say ginger. Maybe it is ginger. But it's more of like a cinnamon note to me than ginger. Hmm. I like it though. This is a good blend. Not bad. I, I would recommend getting it. Where does it rank on my holiday blends? Huh. I don't know. It's been a year since I've had them. I'm going to have to start smoking some of them and do a little few revisits next week and the week after. But this is like an everyday. Uh, holiday blend you could have if you're looking to have something throughout the the holiday season, Christmas season, daily. You could you could go with this. This is pretty good. Uh, it does give you that Christmassy kind of feel to it. Well, it smokes really nice, as you can see. I, I like that there's this, like, for me at least, it's like this mystery kind of note to it. Like, I can't place it. Huh. I guess my only complaint is... Is the pipe on the tin that Santa has? They got to revise it. They they got to get they got to do this. They got to they got to get a church warden in there. That's my only complaint. Other than that, this is a fantastic holiday blend. Um, I was concerned it was going to be too citrusy. Um, but this hits nice and mellow, right in the middle of everything. I like this one. This one's worth it. I wish I picked up two tins, but I only got one. Yeah, I, I would say this is a... Uh, I wouldn't call it a home run, but I'd ca I'll call it a, a, a triple. I don't know, maybe I'll do a second time around um, next week or the week after. Because I like this and I just can't place that note. Uh, I, it's got to be part of that ginger note. Um, I don't have a lot of ginger in my life. Maybe I should. They say it's really good for you. But it smokes really well. I mean, I, I barely lit this once I got going here. It's been, uh, of course, I'm puffing like a freight train here. Hmm. Anyway, what else is going on? Um, I've been contemplating going back to podcasting. I got two show. Well, I've talked about it before. I got two shows in mind involving true crime. Some of you may know that true crime is kind of another. Uh, I don't want to call it a hobby because that sounds kind of awful, but like a. An interest, uh, like next to Star Wars, true crime knowledge is probably my next thing in my brain. I can recall things from my head and whatnot. You know, deep tracks from long ago, I can, you know, I was very much interested in that. So there's two things I was thinking of true crime. One is obviously I've mentioned here on the channel the New Bedford Highway Killer. I've mentioned that several times that I want to do that, although it's difficult to do that podcast because there's not much information and talking about it, I'm not sure how to... I want to do it right, and I'm not sure I can at this point. But the one that will probably most likely happen at next year is about the true crime that's happened in my lifetime. Um, all the cases since 1976 till present, 
that have happened that I that I know about, have an interest in, and whatnot. So I may do that. We'll see. I'm contemplating that. I've been kind of uh, creatively, as you can tell by these videos, once a week, once every two weeks, I've kind of slowed things down, kind of recharged my batteries, and kind of uh, maybe refocus and stuff. So I've been kind of creatively. I, it's there. It's just wanting to do it. So I've been trying to get myself back into the swing of things um, and whatnot. Because the truth of the matter is I've been enjoying my life uh, here in the shed with the TV, the books, the turntable, all that stuff. It's been a joy. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see how that pans out. All right, well, I'm going to say, I'm almost done with this. This is more of an orange flavor is coming through now in the Virginias because I can feel the heat a bit. But this is good. I like this. That's the gist of it. I say get it. If you guys did get it, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. This is a pretty good Christmas blend that I wasn't uh, expecting, to be honest. I, I thought this was going to be another one where it's going to be like, eh. But, nice surprise. Hmm. All right, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of the football. And uh, I will see you guys starting next weekend, I hope. I'll, I'll start to, although my daughter's got two uh, soccer games back-to-back -back and uh, whatnot. So... Definitely next week I will be getting in the swing of things and pumping out some content. So some st different things coming, not just tobacco reviews. I know that's the main stay of the channel, but I'd like to do a few other different things uh, for the channel as well. But anyway, that's going to do it for today. I will see you guys later. Take care.